Hello, welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is I, Banded Wendy, your Tuesday vlogger. How are you? Woo! Um, well, today's one of those mornings where I have so much going on and uh, my brain's everywhere, and this topic is so critical uh, and so important. So I, I'm going to do my best in a scattered state of mind to answer this topic. Uh, so thanks to all who commented last week. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. Um, would love to hear your um, comments and see your response videos on this topic. It's a big one and I think it is an ongoing component of our weight loss surgery or just in general losing weight and maintaining weight lifestyles and lives. Um, here it is. Got your pen, piece of paper. Accepting your size and shape today. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to you? How do you live with the body the shape and the skin you're living in today. What have you done or do you plan on doing to continue working on accepting yourself? Mm. It's a big one. I myself um, did not like me. Um, prior to weight loss surgery, uh, I did not like getting dressed, I didn't like myself in pictures, I didn't like myself on video. Um, I wasn't good enough. Whenever I looked in the mirror, I wasn't good enough for me, right? And then you get into this nasty little negative spot in your head. Well, if you're not good enough for yourself, how could you ever be good enough for anybody else, right? So it's a ooh, whirlwind conversation. And the idea of having weight loss surgery and being able to not only lose the weight, but keep the weight off uh, was my hope. It was like that carrot out there dangling in front of me. Could I get there, right? And then what happens is uh, it doesn't it doesn't happen fast enough, does it? <laughs> I want to get there right now, you know. I only lost so many pounds. So those for me all had to come together. They had to come together that I had to remove the word only. A pound is a pound, an ounce is an ounce, and it's on the way down, right? Maintaining for a week is maintaining for a week. It's not going up. As long as I'm not going up, I'm going in the right direction, right? Um, so I had to come to terms with the scale. And I had to come to terms with my lifestyle, how I was living, uh, using the weight loss surgery rules to make sure I was personally doing everything I possibly could do to my best ability to be following the rules, to be living the life the way they instructed me to do so. And if I did that, then the results I wanted would eventually come. And so the scale's moving, you're evaluating yourself against the, the rules, you're, you're trying to do your best to live them. And then what about the body? What about the shape? What about that mindset of, I want it faster. Um, I don't look the way I want to look, right? It's challenging. It's very challenging. So what does that mean to you to accept your size and shape today? It means that wherever I was on the journey, I had to work at it. I had to say in the mirror, naked, every morning when I would get on the scale, because I was and can sometimes still be a daily wear, uh, even at 244 pounds or 230 pounds or 210 pounds or 190 pounds or 180 pounds or 170 pounds. And I can remember my good friend, Sky Moon 1982 tell me, oh, you just wait. When you get down underneath that 170, you start to see that loose skin. Well, sure as shit, she was right. Damn her. <laughs> so then you get to the 170s, and the 165, and the 160, and the 155, and the 150, and the 145, and you hit your goal weight. But you have the skin, right? Um, you have to look at yourself. I had to look at myself in the mirror every single day before I got on the scale, and after I got off the scale and say, I love you. I love you, Wendy. Because it's hard work. It's hard work to keep the mental game sharp, to adhere and stick to those rules, to drink the water, to eat the protein, to get the fitness done, to take those vitamins, to count your calories, to count your protein, to make the portions right, to make a better choice the next time you have a chance to make a choice, um, to go harder, to go longer, to go stronger. Um, it's hard. So there's got to be some love involved. 
and understanding and accepting that today, this is where I am. And it's better than I was yesterday. Right? Um, so that's, that's what it meant at the time, uh, was I like me today. I love me today. And that's going to get me through today. <sighs> How do you live with the body, shape, and skin you're living in today? Well, I am four and a half years post-op for my lap band. Uh, three years and four months, pretty much, uh, or so, at my goal weight. And uh, I physically, uh, for food choices, water choices, and fitness, believe that I have done everything possible in my capability with time and energy and knowledge to get to the best place I can be. Uh, and that's pretty much my driving force. I've always continued to try, dare to try, do new workouts, uh, drink more water, try different foods, keep my protein high, have sugar on an occasional basis, um, change my life. And I can see, you know, my shape. I know that if I'm working out, you know, I can get some definition in my shoulders if I'm doing 250 push-ups and I'm doing shoulder presses. Um, I know that I can get rid of some of the, the flab on my arm, and if I don't use it, I lose it, right? But I know if I'm working out, I can get that line there, right? This doesn't ever really go away because that's skin, but I do not just say, well, this is the way it's going to be. I'm constantly working on it. Um, and as long as I'm taking actions as in a forward motion, you know, then I feel good. I, I can accept it. I haven't stopped. I haven't said, well, that's the best it's going to be. No. You know, uh, it can always be better. And I find that in certain workouts, uh, I'm reminded, I'm humbled by the fact that running's cool, but strength training's a whole different game. Or running's cool, but swimming, woo! get in that ocean go for a swim ain't nothing like it you know so there's always it's in that tenderness that I have after a workout I was there to say yeah there's still work to do Wendy there's still work to do so that means I have room for progress um, and perfection is overrated uh, because what would you do if you were perfect hmm right so I kind of like the challenge um, what have you done or do you plan on doing to continue working on accepting yourself? Well, you know, I, I continue to make these videos. I have my own channel, Banded Wendy. Um, I have a Facebook page, Proof WLS Works. I have a Twitter, Banded Wendy. Um, I have a bariatric business, WLS Success Matters. Uh, I put myself in the community as often as possible. I document with photos all the time. Uh, I continue to make these videos to stay aware here in my mind of where I am and to be able to see myself, a reflection of myself. Um, I repeat that I like me and that I love me and I, I'm worth it. I'm worth the hard work. Um, I'm going to have plastic surgery in November. Uh, I finally have gotten to the point where I, I like me. I really like me. Like Most people say, oh, when did you have plastic surgery? Did you have all your skin removed? So I guess to a certain point, I'm fortunate that my skin is minimal and or I hide it well and uh, I've worked my ass off to get to where the point where I am that now the skin on my stomach's not going away. You know, like I, I it's just not going to go away. Uh, it's subcutaneous fat and skin, Dr. Katzen says, the only way to get it off is to take it off. So. I'm going there because I want to see what's underneath. I want to see what I've created. Um, I can only imagine that it will intensify my like of self, and that's okay, you know. Um, and then I'm, I already got my fitness program lined up for post-plastic surgery. So plastic surgery is not the end-all, be-all answer for me. It's not something I'm doing to change the way I view myself. I've done that. I've done that over the last four and a half years, and YouTube was a big part of me recognizing I accept myself for where I am today. I know that I'm doing my best and I'm going to continue to do my best and see where it takes me. So mental, I talk to myself a lot. So, and you know what? Rosemary stood up in her video. I'll stand up in mine. See, I've got some chubby fat that's going to come off there um, from plastic surgery. But you know what? 
from someone who used to weigh 269 pounds to 141, I'm not mad at that, you know? And that's the key. I like me. It all starts from within. It all starts from within. Um, ask for support. Be open. Be honest with yourself. Work hard. Try. And don't give up on what you can do mentally and physically with your choices for food and for fitness and support. Both of those, all three of those, um, will help you and have helped me accept my size. So, thanks for watching. Have a good week.